Do you have a friend that has the entire essential oil collection carrying around in the purse? You know, you can complain about, oh, I got a headache and then like get dabbed. It's like weapons. They just kind of reach out and dab you with all these little essential oil things. Well, if you do, ask them if they have any cinnamon bark oil. You might be able to use that as a Tushy Tuesday little tip. Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Toker, your friendly neighborhood colorectal surgeon. It is Tuesday, and therefore, we talk about tips that one might do for a variety of little hemorrhoidal complaints. Some people are complaining of inflammation and swelling. They don't really know what to do. We've talked in other posts about, okay, fiber, drink your water, avoid swelling. Follow my video on the patron saint of hemorrhoids. Gives you good advice on how not to cause hemorrhoid swelling. But what if too late, it's there? You can actually deploy some essential oils to try to improve the inflammation that's going on. Use with caution. These are not FDA approved. You really can't make claims that this is going to work because it's an herbal supplement and the FDA forbids that kind of conversation. However, if you take two to three drops of essential oil of cinnamon bark and dilute it into one ounce of almond oil, they say, studies have shown, but not conclusive, that that can help with hemorrhoidal swelling and inflammation. And if it doesn't, you probably could spread that on your toast for a pretty tasty snack.